Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, uh, Robots Meet Nature. And recently I decided to change the scope of the series. Initially, uh, the idea was to teach you guys the basics of Mashpot Lib from the beginning. Now I am assuming that most of you already know the basics. So I'm showing you some direct applications of Matplotlib for finance projects, okay? Uh, I'm sorry for the time I didn't put any video. It's because I just finished my exams at university. So now I'm free to, to record new ones. And in this video, I will code you a program that is able to directly, directly assess uh, finance price data and plot the total return and the drawdown of any stock. Okay? The first thing we need to do is to create a new file. I'm using the Windows PowerShell to do this. I will call it tutorial3.py and open the file. Let's define our main function. and also a way that we can call this function. Very basic stuff. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to import the libraries that we are going to use. The first library is the Y Finance to get data from the Yahoo. And also the Pandas, the basic data library from Python. And finally the Matplotlib. If you do not know when I write when I type a SPAD, for instance, I am uh, giving a nickname to pandas, uh, so I can call pandas using PAD. That's uh, easy to type. Uh, now let's choose a, a stock, a ticker for the company. Ticker, ticker is the name, is the code to the stock. For instance, if I want the uh, Microsoft stock, I simply write MSFT. And then I can grab the stock data using the YF dot ticker. Uh, the name of the company that is MSFT and the, the data that I want. In this case, I want the, the price data. So I type history and a period of time. I will write 5Y. That means uh, the last five years uh, of the Microsoft price data. Now I will be creating a new figure with the Matplotlib. And this uh, I didn't uh, teach you in the last tutorial, so I'm explaining to you. GS is the grid spec for a specific figure, okay? This is the first thing. The grid spec is like a grid where you can plot your figure uh, with different sizes and proportions. You can plot more than uh, axis in the same figure. I will divide this in 10 columns, sorry, in 10 lines and one column. And with this, I, I will be using a style to the plot because I'm very bad in making things beautiful. So uh, Let's use the Seaborn style. Seaborn style. And I will add a first x. x1 equal 
fig dot add subplot then I can use the GS that I just created to give the uh, space that the, this axis will occupy in the in the figure. In this case, I want to occupy the first rows from zero to x to six, sorry, and uh, all columns that we have only one. Okay. In the x one. I will plot uh, the stock data dot index. In the index, we have the price of the stock data and stock data, uh, the column close. Close is the close price. And uh, let me show you. If I type print stock data dot head I will show the the first five uh, rows of this data set uh, let's run the code to see if it's everything okay so let's uh, run the code to see if everything is working tutorial tree python tutorial tree dot py Okay, as you can see, uh, I forget about plt.show in the end, so you can show the figure. And also, uh, we know that the data set has as index the data, the date, and after that we have the open price, the high price of the date, the low price, the close price, the volume, dividends, and stock splits. Let's run again. And now we can see the Microsoft total return of the stock in the grid space, grid spec that we define it. We only occupy uh, six of 10 rows. So we have the majority of the space in the upper part and we have a uh, empty space in the lower part. In this empty space, we are going to plot the uh, drawdown. What's it, what is the drawdown? It's the difference between the peak value to the bottom of uh, the stock price in, in percentage, in a specific amount of time. So we can visualize the fall of stock easily. This is very good for trading. I also will change the, the layout to a tight layout that I think is pretty. And uh, let me think. Bef uh, before we plot, we need to. Sorry, after we plot, we are going to change something. For instance, in the axis, in the X one, set Y label. I will write price in USD dollars in US dollars, and I will also define a title. In this title, I will write stock price from ticker company very simple here we are going to calculate the drawdown uh, daily and to do this we first define a uh, moving window size of one year. One year has 252 days, okay? Uh, useful days, work days. And 
we are defined a row max that is the stock data uh, from the close column rolling and you can choose the moving window size and mean period equal one, equal one. and we will grab the max value of this period in uh, using this we are basically uh, getting the uh, highest value of the last uh, 252 days okay in a moving window and now we calculate the daily drawn down stock data close over uh, row max is the max value of a row window uh, minus one And here we can add the second axis fig dot add subplot gs and then I will occupy the rest of the space from 6 to 10 uh, of the first column also we need to plot plot the daily drawdown and I will plot it in red let's define a Y label to the second axis set Y label daily uh, drawn down so to finish I will also plot the match plus lib dot ticker as m tick so I can change the value of a uh, drawdown to a percentage size let me show you If I plot uh, now, I have the scale of the second figure of the drawn down from 0 to minus uh, 0.2, and I want this in percentage size. To do this, I will simply write uh, here x2 dot y axis dot set major formatter m tick uh, dot percent formatter and one dot zero so uh, I can set it to be the way I, I want now it's perfect this is the Microsoft stock I can also change for any ticket I want for instance Amazon and if I run the code I have the Amazon stock in the drawdown And if you are enjoying this video, please guys, uh, do not forget about liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Uh, this helps me a lot and motivates me to keep producing this kind of content. Also, if you have any doubt, you can send me an email or just comment in this video. I love talking about this kind of stuff and I will help you. And I'm also creating a, a website where you can find all the code that I'm using in the video but it's not finished yet when I finish 
I will write the, the link to the website in the description of the video, but probably will be uh, robertsmithnature.com. Thank you and see you.